Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to deal with missed language goals and failure. Have you ever failed to reach a goal? If you're planning on learning a language as your 2021 New Year's resolution, or if you just want to know how to get back up and recover from language learning failure, then you'll like this episode. So keep watching. But first, here are this month's new free lessons and resources. First, the Making Mistakes Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to respond to mistakes in conversations? This brand new cheat sheet will teach you all the must-know phrases for correcting others and asking for corrections. Download it for free right now. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and much more. Third, the Shops Around the City vocab lesson. Learn how to say mall, supermarket, restaurant, bakery, and much more with this quick vocabulary bonus. Fourth, do you know how to express holiday greetings in your target language? Access this one minute lesson to learn phrases like happy holidays and have a happy new year. Fifth, must know winter clothing vocab. Do you know how to say jacket or scarf in your target language? If you don't, then this next one minute lesson will give you all the words you need for winter clothing. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to deal with missed language goals and failure. If you've ever set a goal, you've probably dealt with failure. A lot of people set goals around January when they set their New Year's resolutions. If you're planning on setting a resolution to learn a new language in 2021, you'll want to pay attention. Now, in this video, when we say failure, we mean you set a goal, but you don't reach it. For example, if the goal was learning 100 words in a month, either you learned some words, meaning you took some steps, or you did nothing at all, meaning you learned zero words. Failure usually happens for one of two reasons. One, you set an unrealistic goal that's too hard for you or your routine or your lifestyle. For example, learning 1,000 words in a month can be overwhelming. Or two, it could be for reasons outside of your control. Maybe you got sick, or you're busy at work and have no time, or you're moving. Life can get in the way. So how do you deal with failure? Do you feel disappointed? Do you quit? Do you keep trying? Leave us a comment and let us know. But if you want to succeed with your future language goals, you'll need to change your outlook on failure and learn how to recover. So here are five ways to deal with missed goals. One, ask yourself, is this outside of my control or inside of my control? For example, you could be moving, you might have overtime at work, you may get sick, and life might just get in the way. These situations are outside of your control, so there's no need to blame yourself. If they were inside your control, it's likely you set a goal that was too hard or simply unrealistic for your current lifestyle. Why ask this? If the situation is outside of your control, you should keep on going. If the situation is within your control, you can work on fixing it, and we'll tell you how in just a bit. Second, if you feel disappointed about a missed goal, which is normal, use that feeling as motivation. Don't stop your language learning journey just because you're feeling disappointed. Third, understand that this isn't the last time you're going to fail. There'll be goals that you'll hit, and there'll be goals that you miss. That's just a fact of life. And in a way, that's good news because you'll get used to failing. You'll learn not to feel too bad about it and you'll learn how to keep on going. Fourth, understand that as long as you spend time on the language, that's good enough. Goals are also meant to get you moving in a certain direction. So as long as you made some strides in the right direction, that's better than nothing. So if your goal was to learn 100 words, but you learned only 20, 20 is better than zero. You still started moving in the right direction. And if you didn't reach 100 this time, you can hit 100 in the future. It's just a matter of time. Fifth, recover from failure by setting smaller goals. Why set smaller goals? 
If you failed to learn 100 words, wouldn't it make sense to try that goal again? Or double up, punish yourself, and learn 200 to make up for lost time? In schools, when we miss homework, we have to make it up and stay on track with new homework. This doesn't make sense with goals. The reason is, if you fail again, it's because that goal is too far out of your reach. Either you yourself can't handle it or your current situation, like being busy at work or having a private matter, doesn't give you much time. By aiming lower, you can at least get back on track to succeeding at reaching a goal. You're getting something done and you're getting your confidence back up. Because if you couldn't reach 100 words last time, chances are you won't reach it this time. So try 50 words, 30 words. Give yourself a chance to succeed on your own terms. And that's it. Don't let the small failures keep you from making a big success. Make your goals work for you. Let's recap one more time. One, ask yourself, is this outside of my control or inside of my control? Two, if you feel disappointed, use that feeling as motivation. Three, understand that this isn't the last time you're going to fail. Four, understand that as long as you spend time on the language, that's good enough. And five, recover from failure by setting smaller goals. If you're planning on setting a language learning resolution for 2021, let us know what it is. Leave a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about how to get back on track after language learning failure. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.